What's going on guys? We are back. Brad is here. I had a fun time over the weekend. You guys saw putting this thing together. It's a lot of work to put this thing together, but uh, it is just about ready. Uh, We're gonna fill it up with oil. Brad has been working on the little odds and ends that uh, I didn't finish up, like the training cooler, the AC line. Uh, we tightened the drive shaft bolts. Um, just some little odds and ends, but uh, we're almost ready to start it. So let's get some oil in this thing. All right, so we got some driven FR50. Uh, this is my preferred oil that I uh, use. I actually got this before the engine blew up and it's been sitting here uh, for this car ever since. So if you guys are looking for, this is what Jordan recommends in built motor. It's also good in you know your stock motor uh, and these call for 5W50. So this works perfectly. Uh, keep things lubricated up. And I guess we're gonna throw uh, eight quarts in there. You gonna do that no funnel? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, you did it. I'm gonna load that in. Got a new uh, oil filter on. Hopefully we'll be starting her up soon. Tuning action going on over here. Oh yeah. All right guys, so GT500 is on the ground. I think we are about wrapped up. Let's go for a ride. Uh, we got uh, a tune in here as a base tune. I don't even know if we'll be able to go wider than throttle. Um, we had uh, Johnson tuning to throw on a base idle tune to go in and out of the trailer. I just want to go drive it real quick and um, we'll go from there. So yeah, let's fire it up. You can see the good old M122, little baby blower. Um, let's just go drive it. It's been a while, so let's get out there and see what happens. Try to do it at an angle where you can't see uh, how dirty it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right. that's just temporary it's a McLeod RST I've never even ran a McLeod in any of my cars but the McLeod RST especially is the 
worst choice for a GT500 because it doesn't handle the torque well, and RXD would obviously be the correct clutch to use. Um, but uh, with this being the mock-up setup, you know, it's just what was on this engine already. But hey, it's driving. It is driving. It's my first time in this car. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. It's, I don't think I need to see God anymore this year. It's, it's a little. It's. I mean, at least it drives. Um, I like I said, I have no idea if we'll even be able to go wide open throttle. But I figured let's go driving around. Uh, we didn't charge the AC yet. Um, I don't even know if I'm really gonna drive it much, or I might just send it off the fab. But um, yeah, I don't know. Let's let's just go take it out. Brakes work. That's good. That's that's always a good sign. <laughs> uh, intercooler pumps on.
Okay, Brad, drive your uh, drive the GT500. Okay. I'll look at the laptop. <laughs> That's good, though. Here we can get a we can get a thumbnail. I'll just like do something in front of it. You want me to just take a picture? It's still recording. It's still recording. That's good. Yeah. All right. So we switched places. I had to mess with the computer. It's got no time in it. It's got 10 degrees in it, but it was too rich. Um, so we're gonna have Brad here do a little third gear pull. Let's do it. with it a little bit later on and, and I'll add some timing in and stuff but at least at least it goes wide up and throttle it does something you know um, but yeah it's got 10 degrees of timing in it right now so I'll probably mess with it a little bit uh, let it cool down it shouldn't be that hot because it's not a lot of boost and it's got a pretty serious cooling setup for an M122 but yeah I'm gonna take a look at these logs and everything but it goes wide up and throttle now so that's that's better it feels very good. Yeah, it would. It'll probably pick up 100 horsepower with timing. It, it's literally 10 degrees of timing. So you know how um, the Cobra was. The Cobra was like you know like quick-ish, and then it was like fast. Yeah. That that will be what this is with like 21 degrees. So we'll go from there. Um, Corbin did the base file on this, and. Um, he said to not really modify it, but I modified it a little bit. So, sorry Corbin. Um, I just wanted to be able to do something. And I am no, by no means a professional tuner, but I know what the data needs to be, and I know generally how to tune. I just don't know a ton about the MoTeC. There was a rev limiter at 4,000, uh, so I just took that off, set it at 6,300, and then uh, guessed at the fuel tables. We got it right at 0 0.78, 0 0.80 lambda, which is like super safe. And again, it's still at a 10 degree you know, timing table. So um, there's no VCT in here, so that makes things super simple. But hey, you know, maybe I'll tune on it a little bit later, but uh, we gotta get back to work and yeah, I've been fumbling around with her, but Hey, that works. That works. Hit the like button. Comment down below. Subscribe if you're new. I got turbos to buy. Right. <laughs> it's, 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 I got so much shit to do. Woo! Squirrel. Quiet squirrel. <laughs> Sick, dude. <laughs>